What's going on, everybody? Happy New Year, and welcome to the Chasing Better podcast. First of 2023, it is great to see you all and be with you all again here for the next, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20. Who knows? We'll see how long this windbag has today. You know, it's, you know, it's like making fun of yourself is like, you ever have like those siblings that you like picked on each other? And then you kind of felt like you had the right to pick on them. But then if somebody else picked on them, then you wanted to fight. Yeah, it's kind of the way it goes with each with all of us. It's like, I can call myself a windbag, but you can't call me a windbag. I'm just kidding. If you want to call me a windbag, then call me a windbag. Hey, it is the new year. And I know that there's probably 15 million podcasts out there about resolutions and you know, I feel like there's just this constant competition or uh, striving to just have different content and creative content and new content and all these things. There's just such a, a a pressure that comes along with feeling like you have to do the newest thing and say something different and all that stuff. And I don't want to do that. I, I feel like I, I just it's funny. I was working out today. My trainer, Mike, was here and we were talking about tension and if there's anything that truly can define a lot of what's going on in our world today it's tension and just this this family tension inner tension personal tension conflict just just so much grind that is happening um in our in our world today and when it comes to working out, and I feel like, you know, there's a little baseball story that I want to share with you today. Again, not going to be long. Um, I don't know about you, but when I see a podcast, it's like anything north of 30 minutes, I get intimidated by it. I get intimidated by long podcasts and somebody sends it to me and I'm just like, you know, you feel like you have to make a commitment to listen to it. So I really want mine to be a uh, not that way, but sometimes they will. It is what it is. Sometimes it'll be freaking two hours and you will listen to it, damn it. Every word of it, every word you'll listen to, unless you don't want to. When we're working out, we talk a lot about this idea of time under tension, right? That your muscles in order to grow need to be stressed. They need to be uh they they need to be stressed, they need to be torn. They need to be under tension so that they would grow. If they, if your muscles are not put under tension, then they're not going to grow, right? So today I was doing these, first of all, my balance has gotten immensely better over the last year. We're doing these squats where you have to get, you have to get on your tippy toes and then get down into a squat while on your tippy toes. And I don't feel, first of all, I don't feel like saying the word tippy toes is masculine at all. Like I don't. There's not a single part of me that feels masculine after saying tippy toes, but I'm on my tippy toes and you get down on a squat and you hold that squat. And if you want to see how difficult this is, try it today. You need no weights, no weights at all. Get down, uh, it, stand on your tippy toes, get down into a squat, press your knees out wide, and then take your arms straight and then press your uh, legs act like your arms are trying to push your legs further apart. That's what she said. Your le your arms are oh my god. <laughs> your arms are trying to push your legs further apart while your legs are trying to push your arms closer together, but they won't let each other um, because you're creating that tension, right? So you sit down in your squat while your arms and legs are creating that tension for sixty seconds. At the end of 60 seconds, do uh, 10 calf raises while you're squatting. Try that and see if you're not saying every – here's what I – you know, people like get on to me sometimes for swearing. This is what I want you to do. I want you to do that for 60 seconds and then do 10 calf raises without swearing, all right? If you do, I'm not going to stop swearing, but I just want to see if you can do it, all right? So damn it, try it and see what happens. But time under tension. Today, my legs were under a lot of tension. My quads were were just screaming at me today. Uh, but that's how my legs grow. I, my legs, specifically, my um, 
you know, my, my glutes, my thighs are, are ripped compared to what they used to be because I put a lot of time under tension in those workouts. Mike, a trainer, he'll be on here with me one of these days, but he also talks about strengthening and range motion. For example, like right here, I'm just, I'm doing any possible thing that for those of you watching on video, YouTube, whatever, um, I'm like flexing right now. Like I'm, 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 this is, I'm not doing an example. I just want to flex and show you my shoulders on purpose and show you my tattoos. That's it. Like I'm not doing this for any other reason, but when you're right here, your body's at your strongest, right? This is just, there's a lot of strength here. It's why when you Brent, which when you bench press, you're pushing from your chest, you're using your back. When you're right here, like you're, you're, like making a field goal post with your elbows bent, that's the strongest your muscles are. When you start moving your arms forward, your your body gets weaker. So so we're trying to strengthen the shoulder with time under tension. So we get our shoulder parallels uh, and, and we start trying to move and it becomes a lot more difficult because you're stronger in this position, field goal post, than you are if you rotate your elbows uh, and fists forward. You're just, that's that's the way it goes. Like your end ranges are where you're most weak. So we're trying to strengthen those. So tension is always not bad. I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about weight. I um, feel like in, in the, the brand new year when the calendar starts, there's always just this push to be better. And I, and I endorse that, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a health and wellness coach. I'm a personal life coach. I help people in lots of different ways. I speak, uh, and I'm all about bettering yourself. I wrote a book about it. However, I also think that there can be a lot of pressure during these types of moments to push yourself too hard. And that's why a lot of people don't tend to stick to new year's resolution because they, are really not focused on something for the long game and and they they quit after a while. You know, you, you do a diet, you quit after a couple of weeks and you do that yo-yo. Most of us have done that before. We've we've made a commitment to go to the gym, we go for a few days and then we stop. Uh first of all, I will not be one of those people that makes fun of those people for, you know, I, I think we we see a whole lot of people that are gym enthusiasts that get annoyed at people going to the gym during this season. Listen, go to the gym. I don't care if you go once in 365 days. Good for you. Good for trying. I will never, ever belittle a person for trying. You know, when I see people that are out walking and they they need to lose a little weight and it's and it's a little obvious, uh, I applaud that. I I there that is so inspiring to me. I don't care if you go one time. Good for you. Good for trying. Except when you're that guy that has no intention of lifting weights and you just walk in on a tank top with a two liter gallon of water and you don't lift and you don't do anything. You just walk around and talk to people the whole time. I do judge you, but I don't judge anybody else. All right. Stop talking to me when I lift. By the way, when you go to the gym, if you see someone that has headphones in, don't talk to them. They don't want to talk to you. Right. They don't want to talk to you. They, they, they don't. You do not exist to them. They have no like that. That is the universal sign. If you have headphones on. That is the universal sign, whether you're on an airplane, whether you're at the gym, when you're out, when you have headphones on, that is like a collective leave me alone to society. Okay, so just a little a little, a little heads up. God, I sound angry sometimes. I'm not really angry, just, just internally. Um, time under tension. So I want to talk a little bit about what I think you should be focused on gaining. We talk a lot about losing. You know, I want to I want to lose a couple pounds. I want to lose some bad habits. I want you to gain something. There's there's something good that you should gain as we start for uh, forward to a new year. And I want to just share a little story about the importance of weight. You know, we talk a lot about weight being a bad thing during this time of the year, but I want to talk about why sometimes weight and tension can be a good thing. First of all, we talk about weight and what weight is, what fat is, is essentially stored energy, right? Your body is storing energy to reuse at a later time. You think about like a bear that's hibernating for winter, it survives off of its fat stores, right? Now, 
most of us, we, we are not giving our bodies a chance to use those fat stores because we keep replenishing it. Like bears do not like continuously eat while they're in hibernation. They hibernate, they rest. They're living off of their stored fat. So we don't always do that, right? That's just not what we do. We, we store fat and then we continue to store more fat. And then we just like, keep, 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 it's like a storehouse that we never use. We just keep filling. They don't use it. We just keep storing it. And that's not what it's supposed to be for. So as we are looking forward to this new year, I want to talk a little about tension, the importance of weight and balance, because I don't feel like we as people do balance well. Because what we do is we, is we go hard, right? We go hard in the paint. And I go hard in the paint too sometimes. We go hard in the paint between Thanksgiving and Christmas. And we go to all the parties and we drink all the drinks and we have all the food and all the snacks and all the things. And then we just go full turkey like into, you know, dry January. And I've seen a lot of people post about dry January. And people are like, man, are you doing dry January? Hell no, I'm not doing dry January. I'm going to have a drink with dinner tonight. Kudos to you for doing dry January. Not doing it. Right. Because for me, January, it's just another month. Like it, I, my my commitments are set. My now that doesn't mean that I don't try to go into seasons where I try to eat better and different things like that. But I am not uh, doing dry January. Uh, I'm doing wet January. Right. Love baseball. For those of you that don't know that, I'm a Cubs fan, huge, huge baseball fan. And there's a pitcher that no longer pitches because he got into some trouble. And his name is Trevor Bauer. At the time, Trevor Bauer was a pitcher for what were then the Indians, now the Guardians. And he had a bad outing. He gave up a lot of runs, uh, gave up a lot of hits. It was just not not good. And baseball is a traditional sport, right? There's a lot of like traditions. And one of the things that happens in baseball is when the pitcher needs to be replaced, the manager comes out of the dugout, walks to the pitcher's mound. For those of you watching on podcast uh, or a video, you see me holding a baseball. The manager gets the baseball, hand, the, the pitcher hands the baseball to the manager, walks off the field. The manager summons a pitcher from the bullpen who comes in, throws some warm-up tosses, and the game continues. Well, Trevor uh, was a little bit upset this day because he had given up a lot of runs, and he saw the manager coming out of the dugout. And instead of waiting there on the mound to give him the ball, he turned around from the pitcher's mound and threw the ball over the center field wall. That's at least 350 feet. That's a long way, right? That's 35 basketball hoops stacked on top of each other. That is a long way to throw a baseball, right? And most human beings do not possess the ability to throw a baseball 350 feet. That is a long, long way, right? So here's the point of that. Could Trevor Bauer have turned around from the pitcher's mound and thrown a bowling ball? This bowling reference. I love bowling. Could he have thrown a bowling ball, which weighs anywhere from six to 16 pounds? Pick one. Doesn't matter. Could he have thrown a bowling ball 350 feet over the pitcher's mound? No, he couldn't. Not even the best shot putters in the world can throw a six pound weight. I don't even know how much a shot put weighs, but they can't throw. You cannot throw a ball six pounds, 350 feet. You just can't do it. So conversely, could he have taken a wiffle ball and thrown it 350 feet? No, because it it's too light. Like science would not allow you to take a ball that weighs that light and throw it that far. So in order for Trevor Bauer to throw a baseball as far as he did, it needed to weigh a little bit. In other words, the answer to too much weight is not no weight. The answer to too much tension is not no tension. The answer to too much stress is not no stress. So again, I know that we go through such extremes and we went hard in the paint for January or for November, December, and now we're just going to go all forward and make the commitments. And I am all for it. Make the commitments, go to the gym, eat better, do the dry Januaries, do all the things. But my goodness, let's realize that not all weight is bad, that not all stress is bad, that not all tension is bad. Because if you're going to be the person that you're capable of being just like Trevor Bauer threw a baseball 350 feet, he would not be able to do that unless there was a little bit of weight behind it. All right. So as you're facing some stress and tension and uh, weight in your life, realize that that serves a purpose and that it would probably feel great if it was all gone and it was light and you were holding a wiffle ball in your hands. 
Uh, and sometimes there are seasons where you need to be carrying no weight. There's seasons where you need no stress and all that stuff. We, we all need to recharge. But I just wanted to encourage you, for those of you that feel like you're carrying some weight, you're carrying some stress, you're carrying a little bit of baggage, you're carrying a little bit of time under tension right now. Keep going, keep striving, keep pushing. It is strengthening you. It's strengthening those end ranges. It is moving you forward and you are someone that is immensely capable of facing, tackling, and going after whatever it is that you are staring in the face today. So love you. Hope you're doing great. Thanks for listening. Share this with somebody you think could hear, could benefit from it. And we'll see you next time. Peace out.